हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट डॉक्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट डॉम एंड बॉम व्हिच इज अ ब्राउजर ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल सो डॉक्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल इज अ डॉम इज एसेंशियली एन एपीआई दैट प्रोवाइड्स अ स्टैंडर्ड वे ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड सेट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर रेंडरिंग एचटीएमएल एंड एक्सएमएल डॉक्यूमेंट्स सो व्हाट डज इट मींस इट जस्ट अ स्टैंडर्ड वे स्टैंडर्ड एपीआई इंटरफेस using which we are able to access the different doms we are able to do the dom manipulation and we are able to change the html dom nodes so if you talk about this simple html dom uh, type of nodes there can be like in the simple xml these are known as a nodes right so in html document also we write html node html body paragraph div tag inside a body all these constructed as a dom elements okay so if we just see i will just directly come to the definition uh, so available methods in the dom right we'll talk about get element by id get element by tag names get element by class names query selector and query selector all so these are the dom node methods i mean you can say uh, uh, the different api is provided by the document object model to access different nodes and play around it you can just change the style you can just uh, add a event listener you can change the inner html of the content or text content of the html dom node like this get element by id it will give you the node now you can play around it get element by tag name class name query selector will is same as doc, document dot get element by id so it will just give us a single node based on this particular query selector css selector here this is a different selectors what does it mean is inside li we have a current class inside this ul you have a menu i mean select only that ul tag which is has a, has a menu class inside that you have a li and select only the anchor tag okay so let's just not talk about it but for the reference there is a jquery is used to be a framework which also do the same thing but always when we actually access the dom apis from the javascript interface that is always fastest so angular react vuejs all are actually third party libraries what actually they are doing they are providing us an interface to access the dom but when you use these native methods document dot query selector get element by id and get element by class name and tag name these are always going to be the faster because these are the browser native apis and here if you just talk about simple jquery it is taking more time than the these methods okay similarly we have a browser object model and browser object model is just a, a interface to access the browser windows object and these are some of the browser windows like anchor forms images links navigator geolocation history apis document apis so if you just talk about simple thing is what is in the window object you can see this is window object and this is the document object so in the document object you can do lot of things you can uh, like document dot get element by id if you have already some id is defined then you can just take a look onto it otherwise i will just say document dot get element by tag name and i will put a div so here i can see you can see i got an array of 198 elements so they are starting with the div okay similarly you can all the all you also use other methods get element by class name or document dot query selector and i just provided a div you can see the same 198 element i'm getting to get a particular dom node uh, you need to just inspect uh, the document so if you just see we can we can look at the document what this document is having in the body and we will pick one particular id if we are able to get okay let's uh, do the this is the id we got right so we'll try to inspect around it so what i can say document dot get element by id so i got the element now you can assign it to some variable i can use a const or so i got document dot get element by id i got the element now i can access it so what all you can do is element dot inner text inner html so this is the inner html i can change it okay so you can see now the element in a text is this okay what else you can do is all these different things you can add a event listener dot style dot color let 
Now, if we just try to access the element, what this element is, this element is this, right? So, element you can also access get attributes, what all attribute it is having. Uh, sorry, get attribute. So, so, we have this element. So, you can see it is having one attribute class and dir attribute, right? So, element dot uh, we can access attributes. So you can see this is giving us the map of attributes. Okay, it has in, uh, at the zeroth attribute ID class DIR, right? So if I just say this is an object attribute directory, you can also change the value of an attribute element dot set attribute. I wanted to set the new value of DIR to something else. Right now it is hello and you can again see all the attribute map okay it has been changed to hello right so these are the different methods we have element dot add event listener or you can just define the on click all these methods on click on change and you can define a function what you want it to do when the on click happens on this or element dot add event listener so here these are the different methods you can add I will just add a click and this is my function so this function will get executed whenever you are doing a click event onto this so there are different DOM events you can apply onto this and there is a huge list of uh, uh, you can set huge list of attributes okay what if you have an array of elements like uh, document dot get element by tag name and I put tag name as div okay and I'm just trying to access the zeroth element okay this is the container so I will just assign it in the element get in the element and we will see what it is having you can say this is having container and also it is having some childs right so do can we access the childs so these are the children's you can see it is giving us the collection of all the children's which is having header div and footer right so from the children's also child one I can just get the first child which is again a HTML DOM node children and I will just uh, get the zeroth node so you can just get the child one is this now okay now we got the child one it can have further children's so it is like a DOM tree right we are traversing around it and if you just see the child one all the methods and all the APIs are again available child one dot uh, inner HTML inner text you can just play around all the methods around it okay so this is how we actually X these are the DOM APIs similarly we have a browser APIs which we are calling is a bomb browser object model okay window object this was a look for window dot you can see there are different APIs we are going to access window dot history window dot uh, iframes window dot forms if uh, you have forms available so I'm talking about all these things you can just access frames history location window dot location window dot storage So any kind of storage if you are doing it so we'll talk about local storage in the coming sessions local storage api so this is the location current location we are having okay in the in the url uh, this is my this is my url of this particular website look like protocol path name origin href this is the link host name host and hash okay window dot history api currently what is my history in window dot history dot i think there are other methods which we can access history dot go push state current state right so you can push a new state and redirect it to there back and forward so if I click on it it will go to the uh, the last previous page like we have a browser back and forward button okay apart from that we have a window dot location forms and all all the other APIs so window dot document I mean this we have already talked about this is the same document which we are getting by doing this and in the window dot document
we can just access all these things how many forms we have how many anchor tags we have how many all these different collections images links locations I think we are having a um, nine images right and individual image attributes are here it's a big list okay this is how we can access the the window object document object is a part of window object which we already talked about document object model window has all the other APIs also history stories location uh, and inside a document we can access the forms anchors images okay so it's just a giving you the brief overview how this works we should be good at handling the different DOM events we might be start using these frameworks react angular but what if you wanted to write and do the DOM manipulations using these native DOM APIs then you should be aware about how to access the children's get a particular children by just looking at the ID in class and change its behavior change the inner HTML inner text and styles okay thanks everyone